A thread is a process or it is a small and light weighted code it is residing inside a process. This is also a concept of multitasking means a more than one task to be executed simultaneously. So here all the tasks will share the common resources. All the three different clients are the user accessing the server and obviously it is going to create three different thread for three different users. Dear students, welcome to BCA classes. I am Ravi Kumar KR, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyashram First Gate College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, in this session, we are going to talk about the chapter Multi-Thread Programming, Unit 2 and Chapter 1. In this session, we are going to cover the topics, introduction to threads, types of threads, multi-threading definition, advantages, multi-threading models, thread libraries, and threading issues. Now let us start with the definition of what is a process. So all of you know what is a process. Process means a program that is being executed. So the program in execution is called a process. So process are further divided into independent units also known as thread. So what is a process? Each process it can be subdivided into number of threads. They are independent units and it's called threads and also known as collection of threads. So one process can have number of threads in particular process. So it is a process that is a small and light weighted residing inside a process. So what is a thread here? A thread is a process or it is a small and light weighted code. It is residing inside a process. So this is the definition of a process and thread. Next one is what is multi-thread programming in operating system? So you know what is a thread now? It is each and every process can have number of threads. So now you say what is the concept of multi-thread? So here multi-threading is ability of a program or an operating system to enable more than one user at a time without requiring multiple copies of the program running on the computer. So multi-threading can also handle multiple requests from the same user. So what is the concept of multi-threading here is, as we know that one process or a program can have number of threads. So all the threads is nothing but number of threads or multi-threading concept. Here is the ability of a program or operating system to enable more than one user at a time. If I talk about more than one user, you can assume that more than one thread at a time and without requiring multiple copies of the program. So here, without having a multiple copies of a program, so the same program can be shared by multiple users. That is the concept of multiple or multi-threading operating system. So here, it can also handle multiple requests from the same user. So there's a concept here is same user, he can send multiple requests or multiple users can send multiple requests to the OS. So that is a concept of multi-threading operating system. So if you look at the diagram here, so this is a common, this is the shared, this is the common program or a process and it is shared by multiple threads. So this is one thread and all these are thread and here there are more than one thread. It is an example of multi-threading process where there are three threads in a program or a process and here is only one thread. It's a single thread process and all these threads will share a common program or a common process. So that is the concept of multi-threaded programming in operating system. How does the multi-threading work in operating system? So here the multi-threading divides the task of application into separate individual thread. So this is also a concept of multitasking, means a more than one task to be executed simultaneously. So here all the tasks will share the common resources. So here the multi-thread, it divides the task of application into separate individual threads. The same process or task in multi-threading 
can be done by several threads or it can be said that more than one thread is used for performing the task in multi-threading operating system or in the concept here is so as we know that one process can have multiple threads so here in the concept the same task can be executed by multiple threads in a process or the multiple threads with the multiple users in multi-threading operating system. So this is the concept of multi-threading operating system. And look at the example for this. Now if you look at this example here, see this is a web server application. So this is a web server application. If you talk about this, there are three clients, client one, client two, client three. And here, all the three different clients are the user accessing the server and obviously it's going to create three different thread for three different users. So this is an example for a multi-threading operating system or multiple threads for one process. In this example, for three users, they are given three different threads. So for one application or maybe for different application. So there's an example for multi-thread operating system. Next, we will see another example for multi-threading operating system is bank transaction. In bank transaction, so day-to-day -day activities, deposits, withdrawal, and money transfer. Here, we know that any bank will be having number of customers. All the customer, if we assume that they are nothing but multiple threads, and activities in a bank or a branch is same for all the threads, for all the customers. So here, all the customer make use of the same database or the same software, same resources for their day-to-day -day transaction or day-to-day -day activities in a bank. This is an example for multi-threading activity. Next concept is multi-thread models. So we can have number of models. Here there are three types of models in multi-threading. One is many-to-many -many relations, many-to-one relations, one-to-one -one relationship. These are all three types of models in multi-threading operating system. Now let us see one by one. So first one is many to many relationships. Look at the diagram here. So there are two levels here. One is user level, one is kernel level. So this is one process. One process we have multiple threads and second process and we have multiple threads. And again, this is one CPU or nothing but we have multiple operating system or multiple resources. So here, many to many in the sense, many threads here, more than one thread will share the different resources of the CPU. So this is the concept of many to many relationship. So in this, the OS multiplexes n number of threads of user onto kernel thread of equal number or small number. So this is the user level thread and this is the kernel level thread. So here it is going to have multiplexes, multiplies n number of threads, equal number of threads at the user level as well as at the kernel space. So this is an example for many to many relationship, one of the model. In the next slide, the user level threads here or multiplex with six kernel level threads here. So in the example here, in the previous example, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six multiple threads or it is multiplied or it is multiplex of n number of process. In process one, we have three threads and here is three threads. So it is going to map with this or it is going to multiply the equal number of threads at kernel space. Now developers using the thread can create as many user thread as possible and correspond to the kernel thread can also run parallelly on multi-process machine. This model provides the best accuracy and concurrency on the thread. So this is many to many relationship or model. In the next slide, we will see many to one relationship. So what is many to one relationship? This model, many user level threads to one kernel level thread. So as we have seen in the previous slide, here many user level thread will be mapped with many kernel threads. That is, that is many to many, but in 
many to one, many user level threads are mapped with one kernel thread. Look at the example here. See, these are many to one model. So this is user threads. There are, in this example, there are three threads and all of them mapped with only one kernel thread. This is many to one relationship. So since only one thread can be able to access a thread at a time, multiple threads cannot be run parallelly on multiprocessor. So what's the drawback of this? As in the example here, the three threads cannot access these resources or the kernel threads simultaneously. So that is the drawback of this many to one relationship. Another model is one to one relationship or one to one model. So here the user level thread has one to one relationship with the kernel level thread here. So this is kernel level thread. There are three kernel level thread and there are three threads at the user level. So here it is called one to one mapping or one to one relationship. Now let us see what are the advantages of this. So one is it minimize time of context switching means context switching user for storing the context or state of the process so that it can be reloaded when required. And by using thread it provides concurrency within a process. Another advantage that is it is going to provide concurrency and creating and context switching is economical. This is economical and it allow register utilization of multi-process architecture. So these are all different advantages of multi-threading operating system. Next concept is what are the main thread libraries. So here, if we talk about libraries, so here there are three major thread libraries. They are pthread, win32, and the Java thread. And here, the first two are real operating system thread libraries. So pthread and win32 are real operating system libraries. Java thread is implemented using either pthread or win32 threads. So these are all different multi-thread libraries. Now let us see some of the C++ libraries, multi-libraries. If you can have the name of this, here Apache Portable Runtime, Boost.thread, Standard Library Thread, Concurrence App, Dlib, HPX, IPP, OpenMP. These are all thread libraries of C++ language. Next concept is what are threading issues? threading issues in operating system. So here following are the different threading issues in multi-thread operating system. They are system call, thread cancellation, signal handling, thread pool and thread specific data. Now let us see the system calls. The one of the issue is system calls and here the fork and exec function are system calls. So the fork, the function for is used to create a duplicate process. The meaning of fork and a system call change in a multi-thread program. So what is the fork function? It is a one of the issue is going to create duplicate processes. Now, if a thread calls exec function or is a system call, the program specified in the parameter to exec will replace the entire process which includes all threads. See, these are the definitions or functions of system calls, fork and exec. System call is one of the issues in multi-thread operating system. Next one is signal handling. So what is signal handling? See, signal is used in Unix system to notify a process that a particular event has occurred. So here, it is a notification for a process that event has occurred. A signal received either synchronously or asynchronously based on the source and the reason for event being cancelled. Here, 
the all signals whether synchronous or asynchronous follow the following pattern so here is a signal is generated by the occurrence of a particular event so when the event has occurred the signal will be sent to a process that is the indication that is the first point the signal is delivered to a process uh, once the event has started the signal will be generated that will be delivered to process that is second concept and once the delivered the signal must be handled so this is called signal handling so it has signal must be handled at the process level so this is a signal handling one of the threading issues next concept is cancellation so what is cancellation it is the task of terminating a thread before it has been completed so once the thread has been created actually it will be executing the task and we are going to cancel the thread or cancel the program before it's completing its task that is a cancellation a target thread is a thread another definition here target thread that is to be cancelled cancellation of target thread may occur in two different scenario asynchronous cancellation or deferred cancellation in asynchronous cancellation one thread immediately terminates the target thread this is one thread terminates the target thread second one is the target thread periodically checks whether it should terminate or allowing an opportunity to terminate itself in an ordinary fashion so this is a cancellation here there are two scenario one is one thread cancels the another thread or the target thread or second one is in deferred cancellation the target thread automatically or periodically check for termination this is the one of the threading issue is cancellation student so far in the session we have covered the topics about multi thread operating system in the next session we will discuss about process synchronization thank you very much